Amalek Ekbenobi thinks conservatives are dumb. That's the message she delivers in her documentary, Unwoke Incorporated, produced by PragerU. She doesn't care about you, the conservative viewer. She only cares about how to vilify the woke mob so that you agree with her. She wants to keep you angry and afraid so you'll buy the products and services she promotes. Don't believe me? Let's break down this documentary. Or really, I should say, 17-minute advermentary? Eh? Let's start with the obvious. This isn't a documentary. Not really. It is presented as a call to arms. The talking heads featured in this documentary who proclaim they are conservatives who value freedom and people and seeking truth are really just there to get you mad, loosely explain things, all to promote a handful of products and or services. But I digress. Our wayward heroine is going on a journey. So began what would become a journey across the United States to try to find those answers. The very opening starts off with the villain. It's the situation. All of you are under attack by gay men. Loving any shade. I'm wondering if that's interracial marriages and things. Target rainbow clothing. And of course, drag queen story hour. Because what gets people more angry than drag queen story hour? Certainly not mass murdering people with guns. Why does she start here though? She wants you to believe that the boogeymen are all around you to drive up your anxiety. And why, pray tell, do you ask that she would want to make you anxious when you're watching her documentary? Looking for all the rainbow-clad gay men lurking behind the corner of every alleyway that you pass? That's right. It could be because being anxious is associated with impulse buying? Nah, <laughs> she's our thoughtful heroine. This zero data, zero facts, no substance, danger is everywhere, fear mongering just can't last through the entire documentary. Can it? This next arc is the most important. She's built us up emotionally, and now we need some targets for our rage. And not the rainbow clothing target, except... Anyways, we need something, anything, to do that is right. We're going to stop complaining and start doing something. Don't just complain, do something. Intro to the first product, a book by Vivek Ramaswamy, who gives an incorrect definition of identity politics, but wait, our heroine, she'll stop him right there and explain, right? She's our knight of truth, and he's just been complaining about Marxism, wokeness, and she should do something here, right? Not just let a person complain? Incorrectly? Inaccurately? And she doesn't let us down. She nods at him with a well-practiced look of thoughtfulness and says, Okay. He goes on to proclaim that wokeism started in academia. Why? Because that's the next leg on our dumb you down journey. And it's just as inaccurate as the definition of identity politics that was given just moments ago. She hopes you won't look any of this up because she doesn't trust you're smart enough to do so. You're just going to nod and agree and say, okay? Villain number two. Academia, as we were foreshadowed so directly by Vivek. That's a pretty big group, by the way. Uh, but don't worry, she's bringing on a visionary who did something no one thought was possible, opening a private college. There's like 4,000 of those, or 1,600 of them. And it's on a decline, but there's still well over 1,000 of them. But he opened one in like 2000, 2002, something like that. But hey, listen to him. 
He's about objective truth, or so he says. He wants to find truth, not your truth, not my truth, but truth truth, which I guess would mean that because he started a school in academia and he's concerned about wokeness and objective truth, he'd probably try and get out some of them woke scientists, right, by making conservative scientists, you know, people to counter an actual problem, get more diversity in thought and science, perhaps. This is going to be the one. I can feel it. This is the one where she shines through and proves me wrong. Spoiler alert, I've seen the whole thing. Oh, Patrick Henry College doesn't have science degrees. They only have law-based, journalism-based, entertainment-based, and liberal arts, classical kind of stuff, kind of degrees. Meaning they're producing the villains she's talking about. Propagandists. Not people concerned about objective truth, not people seeking objective truth, not in any formal kind of way. Just people who will make laws and tell you about it in mass media and indoctrinate you. Wait. Sorry. Let's dial it back. We're going to let her explain. We release so them into every industry of our society. Perhaps the most pernicious infiltration? The indoctrination tool for the masses. Entertainment. So moving on, there's some more screens to make you mad. Everyday Americans have with pretty good heart pounding beats, actually. I mean, the music to this is pretty, pretty good. Product number three, The Daily Wire and their razors, an entertainment company that sells you blades to cut yourself with. Whoa, 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 your face, cause you nicked it. Slow down, bucko. She's at this point just sharing propaganda. You can tell because she just says, trust them because they tell the truth. What truth? The truth that suits their agenda. We don't know because she doesn't give any facts. So far, she doesn't care about the origins of wokeism. She parrots a false definition of identity politics, promotes an entertainment company, you know. The indoctrination tool for the masses. You don't have to listen very hard to know that she thinks you're dumb because she's saying the quiet part out loud. She doesn't care about a truth-based college. She just shills for a school that doesn't have enough truth to even promote science. Here's the secret. That's not so secret. She doesn't care about you. She just cares about your money. And now that she has you, now that she's made you sufficiently angry and on her side, she's just going to take the rest of the documentary to tell you about a few more products to buy. Quick pause here. I don't mind multiple products or people who promote a product line. I don't mind advertisements. I was actually the weird kid who would turn to the other channel when the show came on so I could watch more commercials because I thought they were great. This is a commercial, not anything of substance. You are being sold to, manipulated. She wants you buying this stuff, not just any stuff, this stuff. Okay. Moving on back to the documentary. So the multiple products she adds on are clothing from a basketball player. Great. Makeup from a, a model, I guess. Anywho, a person who got kicked out of modeling for not taking into consideration a brand's image and her association with it, which seems bizarre for a model. Though her own marketing is actually pretty top notch. I love a lot of the names on her uh, makeup website. I'll flip through some of them here. Seriously, though, watch the full documentary. Pull out a pen and paper or use your phone's note taking ability or whatever. Doesn't matter. Just pay attention. Start from the beginning. Find a fact. See if it's correct. See if it clearly defines wokeism, where you can draw a straight line to that kind of thing or political idea. Then show me the supporting data she brings up. You will have. An empty page. I'm like 99.5% positive. Why? Because she doesn't think you'll actually sit down and listen to this thing. You'll just agree. Agree and agree. And if that's what you're doing, if you started this and you're like, oh yeah, let's get them, right? Then she's right. You're dumb and easily manipulated. And you'll end up buying some stuff, probably some of these things, 
because she's directed you to do so. And if you don't believe me, believe Vivek. These are also, from an economic standpoint, some of the best customers that any business could want. That is an economic opportunity. It might be the economic opportunity of our generation. Before you go, I told you I'd share something they don't want you to know. Figure out why you believe something, not just find things you hate so you don't believe what they say. So like, subscribe, yell and scream, but actually do something. Don't just buy some shit because someone made you pissed off enough to do it.